You guys want to dance while we're waiting? A little dance party? Nice job. Okay, we're getting close. We are getting close. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Coach Tiffany. And I am a coach at Energy Wiz Kids Fitness. And we are not able to use our really cool equipment and our tracked program from Energy Wiz right now, but we are making the best of it and doing all kinds of different workouts every day. The 1 p.m. Central Standard Time are our daily workouts and we're uploading those to YouTube as well. So um, you can go on our website and find the classes to register for the Zoom um, or you can watch them on YouTube later. This is one of my assistants, Taylor, and she is going to be doing the demonstrations of exercise today. We are going to learn all about animals, got fun facts for all the animals that we're going to be doing their movement. But first, before we go on our little animal adventure, we need to warm up our bodies, okay? So everybody needs to start marching, marching, marching. Get those knees up nice and high. Awesome job, my friends at home. So good. Oh, those are great high knees. I love it. See if you can pull your belly button in a little bit, like somebody's gonna tickle you and you don't want them to. Good. Okay, now we're gonna start pumping our arms. Big pushes and pulls. You ready for this, Taylor? Yes. We've been very excited about our animals and so excited to learn all the fun facts that we found out. Okay, we are going to freeze like a tree. Lots of animals today that, that live in trees or around trees. Now we're gonna kick our heels behind us, try to get them all the way up to our booty. Nice big step side to side. Awesome job, my friends. Big steps. Heel to the rear end. Oh, you got that down good. So let's add some arms to that. Nice work, Taylor. Good. Big reach and pull. Nice big motions. You guys are doing great. And let's freeze like a three. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna go side to side like a tic-tac clock. Swinging those arms, swinging those legs. Oh, beautiful job. I don't think I've ever seen such good tic-tacs. You have? <laughs> Taylor likes a different kind of tic-tac. And freeze like a tree. Maybe we'll have to do an energy with TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Okay, now we're gonna go down to the ground and we're gonna pick up all of our toys, all of our toys, all of our animals, different animals. And we're gonna put them all the way up on our top shelf. Those are my zebras. Okay, now we're gonna pick up some more and we're gonna put them on the top shelf up under tippy toes. Dogs. All the way down. And what are we gonna put on the top shelf? Our big cats, big cats. All the way down on the ground, pick up our lizards and put them on the top shelf. And one more time, what? And we're gonna pick up our penguins and put them on the top shelf. Nice job, let's take some big arm circles. In the other art direction with our arm circles. Okay, we're gonna start. With our hands on our knees, we're gonna imitate an angry cat. Tuck our chin into our chest, round it out. Pull our belly button in tight. And then we're gonna release it and arch our back, lift our chin up like a lazy cow that goes. Moo. Then we're gonna arch up again like an angry cat that goes Meow! And then we're gonna reverse it like a lazy cow that goes Moo. One more time, angry cat. Yeah. And we're going to release it into a lazy cow. And let's take it all the way up to get big breath up. And release it down. And we're going to take it big up. And release it down. Now, if you've only got a small space, that's okay. This, is gonna, this one's going to move a little bit. You can use as much space as you want. Come to the back. 
we are going to start with a grizzly bear. So we are going to do a bear crawl. Sam's going to demonstrate a bear crawl real quick. Hands on the floor. Booty's up in the air on your toes. She's going to go forward as much as she can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're still on camera. Keep going. And then she's going to take that same bear crawl back. She's going to walk it back. So everybody join in with that bear crawl. Forward and back. Big steps forward and back. So I have some fun facts about grizzly bears. First off, when they stand up, when grizzly bears stand up like this, they can be as tall as eight feet. So I wonder if grizzly bears would be good basketball players. I don't know if they can jump. We have to find that out. I have to find out if grizzly bears can jump. Big steps back, big steps back, pull those belly buttons in. Use those arms and those legs backwards and forward. I have another, keep going. I have another fun fact about grizzly bears. When they hibernate, they hibernate for a hundred days sometimes without any food. Or water? Yep. Because they sleep. I know, isn't that crazy how they do that? And you know where you can find grizzly bears? Mostly in Alaska and Canada. One more time, forward and back, and then we're gonna move on to another animal. Good. All the way back, pull those belly buttons in. Big steps, big steps. How you doing, Taylor? Good job. Arms and legs going back. Okay, now I need you to flip over into your other side. So your tummy's up in the air this time, your arms are back, and your legs are up. Guess what animal we're doing now? A crab. We're doing a crab. Okay, now Taylor's gonna walk her feet up and her hands up. She's gonna take it forward. Big steps and her belly button's nice and tight again. She's pulling up her booty. Pull her booty up, good job. You guys are doing awesome. And then she's gonna take it back again. You ready for some fun facts about crabs? Yes. Okay, so crabs are what we call scavengers. They will eat anything that they can find. What other animals can be scavengers sometimes? I had a dog that was quite a scavenger. And when I would take that dog for a walk, it would eat anything that was on the ground. Anything that it could find. How many legs do crabs walk on? You're probably walking on four, two arms and two legs right now. How many do crabs walk on? Eight. Eight. Now let's go forward and back again. And what kind of animals are they? They are shellfish. An interesting fact about shellfish is a lot of people are allergic to shellfish. And where can we find such uh, crabs? Um, fresh water or salt water? Fresh water. Fresh water. Anywhere that there's fresh water, you can find crabs. Okay, so are we ready to move on to another animal? Okay, we're ready to move on to gorillas. Who wants to be a gorilla? I want to be a gorilla. Okay, so Taylor is going to squat down and she's going to squat, come back up. She's going to squat down and back up with her chest up. And she's going to let her arms come down to the ground. Reach. Keep that chin up, keep that chest up. Push the booty back. Okay, let's do four more of those, Taylor. Four more down and up. Get those arms all the way down. Okay, now this time, hold it all the way down. Now Taylor's gonna take it side to side with her hands down. She's gonna shuffle over. Go higher. And shuffle over. There we go, shuffle over and shuffle back. Okay, here are some fun facts about gorillas. Their hands and feet are like humans. They actually have thumbs and they have big toes, just like humans do. Let's see if we can get those arms dangling close to the ground again. Keep it nice and low, back and forth. Okay, here's another fun fact about gorillas. Their arms are super, super long. They're longer than their legs, and that's why they can touch the ground like that. Let's see if you can keep touching the ground. How about two more times? Back and forth. Excellent. One more time. Keep that chest up. Pull your belly button in as hard as you can. And where are gorillas from? 
They are from Africa. They like to live in the swamps and the forest. Okay, shake it all out. All right, we've done three animals. I need some virtual high fives. Awesome job, you guys. All right, we are moving on to a new continent. Where are we going? Australia. We are going to go to Australia, and we are going to see the kangaroos. And kangaroos are kind of like the gorillas, where they're in a kind of a squat position, but then we're going to jump up and down. Jump up and down just like a big kangaroo. Good job. Big squat jumps. Okay, let's not go all the way to the ground this time. Let's keep the chest up and a little bit more of a squat. Let's see, Jay. There we go, and up. Okay, so here's some fun facts about kangaroos. Now for one, we know that kangaroos keep their babies in a pouch, right? That's a pretty common one. But did you know that they can't walk backwards? Keep jumping, keep jumping. Kangaroos cannot walk backwards. Wanna know another fun fact about them? There are more kangaroos in Australia than there are humans in Australia. Yeah, no, nope, there are more, in just, just in Australia, there's more of them than there are humans. Let's do four more, everybody count with me. Four more kangaroo jumps, three, two, and one. All right, let's shake it out. Shake it out and grab some water, you guys. Good job. We're a few minutes into this. We've got lots, lots, lots more animals. Okay, so we're gonna have to leave the outback. We're gonna leave the outback and we are gonna move on to crocodiles. Crocodiles, and where are crocodiles from? Originally, they're from Africa, but now you can find them all over the place, including Florida. Okay, so let's get down on the ground. We're gonna get into a plank position. Okay, and this plank position is on your elbows and your body's in a straight line, okay? Now we're gonna imitate a crocodile. Make sure you're looking down at the ground. You're gonna bring one hand up, one hand up, and then one back down to the elbow and one back down to the elbow. Up, up, now if you need to go down on your knees, that's okay. You can go on your knees, just like this. Down, down, up, up. Good, pull those belly buttons in nice and tight. You guys are doing awesome. You think I have some fun facts about crocodiles? Okay, I do, I do, imagine that. First of all, I have a song about crocodiles. One of my favorites. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Okay, so. They have the strongest bite of any animal. Their big alley or crocodile jaws are really, really strong. Got a couple more times, Taylor. They don't sweat. Are you sweating yet, Tay? You're sweating? Okay, so we're sweating. Crocodiles don't sweat. They get rid of their heat through their mouth like dogs do. Pretty cool, huh? Are you ready? You done with the crocodile? You done with the crocodile? Yeah. Okay, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna stay down on the ground because we are moving on to our friend, the sea lion. Okay, so we're gonna get up into a downward dog position. Booty up in the air. And now Taylor is going to walk her hands out further. All the way down to the ground. And then she's gonna lift her chest up and she's gonna walk back. All the way back into that downward dog position, a little higher, good. And now she's gonna walk her hands out again, and she's gonna rest and lift her chest up. How about a little clap? Can you do a little feline clap? Can you do it, can you do it? <laughs> there we go, all the way back. See if you can do a little feline clap. Yeah, really hold your tummy tight when you do that, right? Not easy, let's see if you can do it. Ah, so close, good job, walk it all the way back. I think we can be a sea lion four more times. So, sea lions are one of our most social animals. They can be seen sunbathing with about a hundred friends. Doesn't that sound fun? All 
All right, here's another fun fact about sea lions. They can stay underwater for 30 minutes without taking a breath. Isn't that crazy? Good job, Tay. And they can be found in almost all water except for the northern Atlantic. All right, shake it all out, shake it all out. I think we need some virtual high fives. Woohoo! How about some high, low, uh, high virtual fives, some low virtual fives, some like back and forth, little crisscross. Okay, are you ready to go to monkey lands? All right, I'm excited about this one. How about you, Taylor? All right, let's show everybody how we're gonna be a monkey. So we're gonna jump side to side with our feet. Jump side to side. We're pretending that we're swinging back and forth on the tree, on tree branches. Okay, now what do we have to do with our arms to swing back and forth? Up opposite. Reach the way you're going, there you go. Big reach, big reach. Let's see how big your reach can be. Awesome, you guys. Oh, I see your monkey swings. Those are so good. All right, I've got some fun facts about monkeys. I know you're wondering. So monkeys use their tails to hold things. So while they're swinging from the branches, they can hold their fruit in their tail. Monkeys like to eat fruit. They live about 20 to 30 years, depending on the kind of monkey. And guess what kind of animals like to get at monkeys? What are the predators for monkeys? Cats? Big cats. Big, big cats. And I think we're going to be visiting a big cat soon. I think that's the next one. And old world monkeys come from Asia and India and Japan and Asia. Big stuff's big. Come on, let's see how big you can swing. And new world monkeys come from Central and South America. All right, monkeys, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. I bet monkeys like to dance. Let's do a little dancing, a little monkey dance. Good job. Okay, I promise big cats, right? Okay, we are on to cheetahs. Okay, what do you think we're gonna have to do for cheetahs? We're gonna have to run really, really fast because cheetahs are, get those knees up, get those knees up, run, 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 run. Cheetahs are faster than any other animal. Are you faster than a cheetah? I don't think so. My car is barely faster than a cheetah. Speed limit on most expressways in Illinois is 65. And cheetahs can go 70 miles an hour. They would get a speeding ticket. If they were driving down the expressway, they would get a speeding ticket. Let's say you can use that speeding ticket. Who can get that speeding ticket like a cheetah? Another fun fact about the cheetah is of all the big cats, so the big cats are things like lions and tigers, cougars. They are the smallest, waffles, yeah, our cat. They are the smallest of the big cats. Another fun fact, can your, can your cat climb trees? Yes. Guess what cannot climb trees? Cheetahs. Cheetahs cannot. Okay, speed it up, speed it up last time. Cheetahs cannot climb trees. And they also do not see well at night, where most cats see very well at night. Okay, where can you find them? Africa. Africa. All right. Good job, Cheetah. Whew. All right, water break, water break. Good job, you guys. You're doing awesome. Oh, I'm excited about the next one. If you thought that the Cheetah was fast, Gazelle is the next one that's also fast. Okay, so for the Gazelle, we are going to high knees skip because the gazelle, the gazelle is very, very smooth. It does more of a gallop than it does a run. And gazelles are little tiny animals. They're only about two feet tall, which is about the size of an 18 month old to a two year old. Really, really tiny. And guess how fast they can go? 50 miles. 50 miles. They will not get a speeding ticket on the expressway, but they would in a residential area. Big skips. Let's get those nice, high, nice and high. All right, let's see if we can speed it up like a gazelle. Big, big jumps, big, big jumps. And just like the cheetah, we can find them where? Africa. Africa. Some in Asia and in India. 
Oh, nice job. All right, Gazelle, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, you get a little break here from the, from the really intense exercise. We are gonna work on balance. What animal do we wanna be like if we wanna balance? Um, a, flamingo. a flamingo. So flamingos, fun fact about flamingos, we're gonna stand on one foot, keep your nose up in the air, chin up, and try to pull your belly button in. Stand on that one foot. Let's see how long we can do that. If you have to put the foot down and come back in, that's okay, Taylor. Lift that leg up. Really use that belly button. So flamingos like to rest on one foot. I go ahead and switch to the other side. You can switch to the other leg. What color are flamingos? Kind of pinkish, right? Do you know why they're pink? Yeah, because of what they eat. So flamingos feathers are the color that they are from what they eat. So their diet is algae and shrimp and crustaceans. And when they eat, they turn their head upside down. Okay, switch to the other side again. Let's get that balance going. Be a big flamingo. Oh, pull that belly button in. I bet, I bet flamingos have very, very strong cores. Because that's what it takes to use good balance. Balance is really, really important for humans, too. The other side. Good job, you guys. And where do you think we can find flamingos? Um, probably. Nope. Was that your last line? Okay, shake it out. Let's clap those flamingo arms. Flap them, flap them, flap them. Flamingo wings, flamingo wings. Okay, uh, we are moving on to some frogs. What do you think we're gonna do here? How about some frog jump? Starting all the way down on the ground. All the way down, hands down, chins up, knees up to the side. We're gonna pull our belly buttons in and we're gonna hop like a frog. If you wanna go forward, you can. We're gonna come up and all the way down. Up and all the way down. You can move forward and back if you've got the room. Come right back down. Right back down, good. One big motion. Good. Yeah, she's foul. Keep going, froggy. Keep going, frog. Okay, so we have some fun facts about frogs. They do not drink water. You know how they stay hydrated? The water goes into their skin, and that's how they stay hydrated. Keep those frog jumps going, pull that belly button in. Nice big jumps. Try to keep your chest forward to keep your balance. Good, keep going. They can jump 20 times their height. Want to know one more fun fact? They shed their skin about once a week. You want to know a gross thing about that? They eat it. Yeah, I don't think I would want to do that if I was a frog. All right, let's do a couple more. And you can find frogs just about anywhere that you can find fresh water all over the world. Okay, so unlike frogs, I think we need to have a drink of water. All right, we are ready to move on in just a second. You guys are doing awesome. Got a couple more animals. Some of them we're gonna do in our stretching. You guys are doing great, good job. Go ahead, everybody, jump up and down. Give yourself a great big hand. Virtual high fives. All right, here's one of my favorites. It's a misunderstood animal, the donkey. Okay, so the donkey, we're gonna do some kicks right behind us, just like a donkey does. We're gonna push our heels back, kick right behind us. We gotta keep our chest up, alternate each side, pull that belly button in. Good, keep going, Tay. Keep going, everybody at home. So a donkey, probably not a big surprise, is a member of the horse family. But a really fun fact, probably one of my favorite facts of all the animals, is a donkey is the only animal of its size that will not back down from a lion. So if a big scary lion came up to a donkey, the donkey would just be like, ee ha, ee ha, like that. Why kick him in the kick him just with that donkey kick, right? That's a pretty brave animal, right? Yep, donkeys, donkeys are pretty brave if they won't back down to a lion. 
Okay, you want something else pretty cool about a donkey? They use their ears, their big donkey ears, to communicate, so that's how they talk to each other. And that's also what they use to keep themselves cool. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, okay. And where do donkeys come from? Africa. Well, originally, so they're the only domestic animals that originated from Africa, but they're everywhere now. You can find a donkey anywhere. You can find a donkey on a farm. Yep. I don't think I'd mind having a pet donkey. All right, shake it all out, shake it all out, because we are now, we are heading to the mountains. And what are we going to see there? Oops. Maybe mountain goats, mountain goats. So we are going to go all the way down the ground. We're going to pull our legs out. We're going to bring one foot in, and then we're going to switch legs. Now we're going to switch, and we're going to switch, and we're going to climb that mountain just like a mountain goat. See how high you can get that foot close to your hands. Make sure you're pulling your belly button in. Good job. You guys are doing awesome at home. Nice work. You ready for your fun facts about the mountain goat? Okay, keep going. Keep that, that booty down. They can jump 20 feet in one leap. 20 feet. That's like, like so far. I, I, you're not even going to be able to see me. Way, way over there. That's how far they can jump. They're also the largest animal that lives up that high in the mountains. They, one more thing is they have a double coat that sheds in the summer and keeps them warm in the winter. Do you know of any other animal that has a double coat? Dog? Dogs, our dogs do, right? We have huskies and they like to live in cold weather and they have a double coat too. Okay, shake it all in, shake it all out. We're gonna stay down on the ground. We're gonna stay down on the ground. Because we are going, come all the way down. We are going to salt water, to all the oceans, because we're going to be what? Shark. A shark, we're gonna be a shark. So I need you to swim, swim, swim. Take those arms out in front, lift those legs. Alternate the two. Keep your arms going too, okay? There you go. Arms and legs. Lift them up a little bit more. Keep your chin up. All the way down. Good job. Okay, keep going. If you need to take a break, take a break and come back in. Here are some fun facts about sharks. All right, let's pretend we're a shark for a second. Take a break and put your, put your uh, fin in top of your head. And you just go back and forth a little bit. And then when you're ready to swim again, go ahead. So sharks do not have bones. They only have cartilage. Only have cartilage. So they don't have hard bones like we do. They don't have to worry about breaking them. They don't get casts. They're all good. Okay, be a shark again, be your fin. Through the water, through the water, take a rest. And I always thought that sharks looked like they were smooth. But it turns out that their skin feels like sandpaper. Yep. And guess how many types of sharks there are? 440 types of sharks. 440, that's so many. Did you know that? I thought that was pretty cool. And they don't all have the same kind of teeth. You can tell what kind of shark it is from looking at the type of teeth that you found. And guess where we can find them? All five oceans. Yep. Okay, guys, we are ready to be a snake. What kind of snake are we going to be? A python. A python. What other kind of snakes are there? There's dargon snakes. There's cobras. What other kind of snakes? Yeah. Rattlesnakes. Yep, lots of different kind of snakes. But we're going to be a python. We're going to lay on our tummies like a snake. And we are going to take our arms out nice and wide, like the big, big fins of a python. We're going to lift them up, and we're going to come back down, and then we're going to stretch ourselves up. We're going to come down to the ground. We're going to lift ourselves up with our elbows back. We're going to come down, and then we're going to stretch. Good job. Lift it up, down. And up. Good. Keep going. Nice job, Taylor. Nice job, everybody at home. 
So here's some fun facts about pythons. I know you're waiting for them. They can grow to 30 feet. So 10 more feet than the mountain goat could jump. So that's really far, right? That's a long, long snake. I don't want to be one of those, I don't think. And do you know how they get their food? Well, they coil around it like that. Yeah, they coil around it. But they protect themselves from their own predators because they're green and brown just like their surroundings. So they're camouflaged. Do you know what camouflage means? Yep, they blend in with their surroundings. And where can we find pythons? Hopefully not out on the street here, right? I think it's all the A's. Africa, Asia, and Australia, you can find pythons. Not Antarctica, okay, not that one. All the other A's. Okay, one more time. Big lift and stretch it out. Okay, are you ready for the next one? This is our last animal before we stretch out. So we are gonna go on all fours, and we are going to be squats. Squats! Isn't that fun? You know, squats kind of get a bad name because people think they're just slow and lazy. It turns out that's not really the case. And we're going to be a squat, we're going to take one arm out in front, and then we're going to bring it down to the ground. Then we're going to bring the other arm out, and we're going to bring it down. And then we're going to put one leg back and put the knee down, and the other leg back and put the knee down, okay? So let's go arm, arm, leg, leg. Now pull your belly button in nice and tight while you do that. Let's try that again. We're gonna go arm, arm, leg, leg. Let's try that one more time. Everybody say it with me, okay? We're gonna go arm, arm, leg, leg. Okay, now this is the tricky part. We're gonna go one arm and the opposite leg all at the same time. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna do the other side and back down. Okay, can you keep alternating those, Taylor? While I tell everybody about our fun facts about slots. So, we're practicing balance here and slots need to practice balance, you know why? No, not. They are very, very clumsy on land. They're not very, very good. They're, they don't have very good balance. They're, they're kind of clumsy, but they're really good swimmers. I had no idea. Yeah. And like I'm going to in a couple weeks, they have four inch long claws. Four inch long claws. And I think that's what my nails are going to be look, like, looking like pretty thin. And guess where you can find them? In the rainforest. That like to live in the rainforest. One more time each side. Awesome job, my friends. High five, high five. Okay, so we saw a lot of animals today. But you know what? I thought we could go on another animal adventure sometime. Do you guys need to let us know what other animals you would like to do on another animal adventure? If we didn't do your favorite animal today, I want to hear all about your favorite animal and we will put it in another workout, okay? All right, we're gonna stretch out because we need to make sure that our muscles and our joints are all healthy after we exercise. Just like animals. Animals stretch, you ever see dogs and cats, they stretch all the time. Animals stretch all the time. They're really good about that. Okay, chest up, back flat. We're gonna lean our chest forward like we're gonna tickle our toes. We're gonna reach towards those toes. And we're gonna take a big breath in. Exhale all our air like a horse. And we lean forward. Good, make sure that these knees stay straight. We're gonna inhale again. And exhale. You ever see a horse do that? Like a no? Okay, reach it all the way up to the sky. And now bring those arms back behind you. Put 
put your feet together and we're going to open our airplane wings really, really far. Another animal that we could be like on this is, is a hawk or an eagle. They don't like to flap their wings very much. They pretty much make their wings go out wide. They don't flap them, they just fly through the air. Another animal fact. Not all birds flap their wings. Okay, push those down. All right, Taylor, what are we gonna do here? Count to 20. Okay, everybody count with us. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woohoo! Good job, guys. All right, now we're gonna stretch out the sides of our legs. We're gonna bring one foot over the knee. Ankle right across, up nice and tall, and push that knee away from your body. Sit it up really, really tall. Make your spine straight. We haven't sang the ABCs yet, have we? All right, go for it, Tay. A, B, C, D, F, H, I, J, K, L, L, B. A little louder at home. Good job. T, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. Okay, let's switch to the other side. And I think we should count backwards from 20. All right, let's go. Ready? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think that was awesome. Good job, you guys. All right, stand it all the way up. Taylor, let's go sideways so everybody can see your leg. We're going to do it a little different today. No, stand up. We're going to do the standing one. We're going to do our quadricep stretch standing today. Okay, take your lunge back. We're going to do that one first. I'll lunge all the way back. Front leg bent. Back leg straight. We're going to push that heel behind. Good. Tail, Taylor's heel and toe are right in the line, and she's going to keep pushing that heel down. This leg is straight, and this leg is bent. And all her weight is on this front leg. All right. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Lots of breaths. Keep pushing that heel down. Okay, now bring it in a half step. Sit down on both, bend both knees, and now lean onto the front leg. Good. Keep pushing that heel down. And what animal are these muscles named after? Cow. A baby cow. A calf. Calves are so cute. Okay, switch to the other side. Other leg straight back. Push that heel down. All your weight's on that front leg. I had so much fun learning about all the animals with you guys today. Almost like going to the zoo. Okay, bring it in a half step. Push that heel down, all your weights on that front leg. Good job. Now, if you have a wall, or you have a couch, or you have something that you can grab onto, go ahead and grab it. If not, you can also do this balancing. We're going to grab one foot behind and keep the knees together real close and push that hip forward. Lift your chin up. Let's make yourself really, really, really tall. Keep pushing that hip and pulling that heel back. Make sure those knees are close together. See how close Taylor's knees are together? There's no space there. Good job. Okay, switch to the other side. Grab that other foot. Push that knee forward. Belly button is nice and tight. Oh, you need to lean on me. You good? There we go. Um, now she's pulling her belly button in, so she's got her balance. What animal likes to rest like this? Flamingo. We just learned about that. All right, now we're going to take our arms back behind our back, straighten them out, pull the shoulder blades together, push those shoulders down, bend your knees a little bit. Good, big stretch. Open that chest up nice and wide. Oh, this feels so good, doesn't it? Pulling this back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice. Okay, I think we are ready to praise ourselves a little bit, give ourselves a pat on the back, some re 
you step on them if you can. Get some closer, Taylor. Look at that. We've been working on this. We're working on that flexibility so it's even on both sides. And it is getting close. Flexibility is something that you can get pretty quickly if you keep working on it. We want to stretch every time we exercise. Okay, let's switch to the other side. You guys did so awesome. Finish giving yourselves a pat in the back. Okay, well, let's release it. And now take a big breath up. And exhale on your air. You take a bigger breath up. Bend those knees. Big breath up. And come all the way down loose. Exhale all your air. And one more time. Big breath up. Exhale all your air. Good job, you guys. You did so awesome. I'm so proud of all of you. Let's give a virtual high five. Nice job. So tomorrow's exercise is a story about ninjas. We're going to be doing some like kickboxing news. We've got some really, really exciting news coming up. So make sure you're following us on social media because we've got some really, really cool stuff coming up. Thank you so much for joining.